Hey everyone, I'm here with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor, and we're gonna take a look at the game between the Blue Jays and the Red Sox. Since the Blue Jays came back from the All-Star break, they've captured their first three series, moving them to the second place in the AL East, just three games back from the Orioles. So Jeff, do you think that they'll be able to keep the good times rolling, considering that they've only won two road games since June? I think you have to look at the Blue Jays if you're looking to play the side in this game, Dax, due to the fact that they are playing much better baseball over the course of the entire season than the defending World Series champions. Uh, they are suffering through some injuries, but I think this team really uh, built uh, a good amount of confidence within the clubhouse given the fact that they just ended a 16-game losing streak at Yankee Stadium, and they'll look to carry that over against the, against the Red Sox here. So if you're looking to play the side, I think Toronto is definitely definitely has the edge in this matchup. Now, with Ortiz at 5-15 and 15 against Dickey, do you think that they'll be able to shake things up with him? He's definitely the X factor when you're looking to possibly play Boston, uh, given the fact that he has the most RBIs in the major leagues for a left-handed hitter, and he does have success against R.A. Dickey, a, a, a pitcher that he just saw last week. And the Red Sox did attack Dickey for three runs in that game a week ago but we're unable to hold on to that lead. The Blue Jays uh, prove victorious. Right now, and with Dickey going 8-10 and 10 and with a 4.4 ERA, um, who would you side with? Buchholz, that's 5-6 and six with a 550, or Dickey, that's 8-10 and 10 with a 4.04? Both these veteran pitchers have been very mediocre. When you look at Dickey, I don't think he has much of an advantage in this matchup as a, an opponent always has an advantage against him when they see him so quickly back. What I mean by that is when you don't see a knuckleball pitcher over the course of maybe a month or two, uh, Dickey has the advantage. But given the fact that it was just less than a week ago that the Red Sox saw Dickey, I think the Red Sox have an advantage in the pitching matchup. But when you look at Buckholz, he has not been the same pitcher since about the middle of last year. But he has been known to dominate the Blue Jays in the past. Right. Um, do you think that there's any factoring uh, weather that we should keep an eye out? You always have to factor the weather when handicapping baseball and, and the wind is blowing out to left center in this matchup, which is conducive to the over, not so much this year, but over the course of, over the course of time at Fenway Park, uh, blowing out to left center has been uh, able to produce a lot of runs. All right, man. So what's going to be your play for this game then? I'm going to pick the over and my main angle for that is the fact that these pitchers did throw against these lineups a week ago, and I think the advantage always goes to a veteran-laden lineup, which both of these teams possess. And like I mentioned, I think Dickey's going to have a hard time uh, retiring this Boston lineup, so I'm going to look to go over the total on Monday. All right, sounds good, Jeff. Thank you very much, and this is Dax Floyd for SportsbookReview.com.